Good afternoon, everyone. Today, I'd like to talk about table captions, why we should love them, and also why we should actually hate them. So let's dive into table captions. So to start off, we need a database. So I'm going to just come here and create a new database. Give it any name, makes no difference. Let's open it up. And for our purposes today, I'm just going to use an application part contacts, let access do its thing. And now we have a table. Now, if we look at the design of the table for a second, you'll see that Microsoft this time is using a best practice. It's got no spaces in any of the field names or column names. First name, no space, last name, which is what we want. You don't want special characters. You don't want spaces in your names. We've covered this before. But let's be serious when we're talking about queries, reports, forms, we want that space. We want it to be legible to our users. And that's where captions come in or are supposed to come in. And as you see, if you look at the design, let's take last name here, down in the properties down below, they've put that missing space. So, and they've done the same for all the other fields. You'll see that first name, email address, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you open the table, you'll see that now it's using the caption for the labels. So now you've got supposedly the best of both worlds because now you've got a properly designed field because you're using the proper field names, but the caption is then used visually when we're in a contact form. If we were to create, let's say, a form and we use our table as the source, when we come to add an existing field, you'll see the label is using the caption and not the field name. That space is there. And that's why captions are sometimes a good thing. They simplify our lives when generating reports, forms, etc. Now, why did I say so they can be hated? Why do I actually not use captions? Well, there's one big issue with captions. And the issue is you can't alias the field names anymore. And for a long time, I used captions. I never had any problems. And then one day with a client, I had a request when I was exporting data to Excel using a query that they wanted to rename the field. And, oh, no big deal. I'll just go into the query, alias that field, and I'm off to the races. Everything's glorious. Nothing could be simpler, except it doesn't work when you have a caption on the field. And then I had to take alternate methods to do it. So then I had to just use a query, export the data, and then using Excel automation, go in and edit that one field. It's just, it's tedious. So let's just show you exactly what I'm talking about. Let's create a query. And let's just simplify our lives a bit. Let's just take three fields here and we'll put them there. Now, if we run this by default, you see we have company, last name, first name, and we have the spaces. That's fine. Let's say for some reason we don't want to call it last name. Well, we can alias it. So we'll go contact last name. That's the title I want, contact last name. So I'm aliasing it, and if you go to the SQL view, you'll see here, contact last name as, and this is what I'm wanting. I'm wanting that contact space, last space name. That's what I want. But when you run this, you won't get it. And that is where the problem with captions lies. There is an inability to use standardized SQL aliasing once you have a field that has a caption. And this is why I recommend as a best practice, actually, to not use any captions in your fields. Um, and that basically sums up uh, the pros and cons of table field captions. They're great until they're not. So just be forewarned, if ever you're trying to alias a field and it's not working, go look at the table design, go look at the caption property. And that's it, guys. Now, of course, 
there has to be a workaround. And there is. Um, we can make it so our field isn't just reliant on a field. So our query column isn't reliant just on that field. And if we do some type of operation, then we can properly alias it. So let's just take the case here of first name. We want to alias it. We want to call it contact first name. Okay. That's what we want. Well, the trick here is to do some type of operation to first name. Um, and the easiest thing to do when you're dealing with strings would be just to concatenate, sorry, concatenate nothing. So an empty string to it. And then you'll manage to get your contact first name here as your field label. Um, the other thing you can do if you're dealing with numbers, for instance, if you have a column with a number, is just multiply it by one. So you're not actually changing the value, but it will be enough that then the alias sticks. So there is a workaround. It's a bit of a pain to have to do that, but it does work. So just keep that in the back of your mind. If you really are stuck with captions, the way to be still be able to alias the column is to do some type of, uh, build some type of expression off of it, concatenate an empty string, multiply it by one basically is typically the way to go about it. Hope this helps you guys out, and we'll see you in the next video. As always, I just wanted to thank you for spending a couple minutes of your day with me. If you don't mind, like, subscribe. If you're able to share it in any way, please do. Um, and if you leave a comment, it really goes a long way to help promote my videos and allows me to keep doing these. Um, I also had a question to ask all of you. I was wondering if you wouldn't mind leaving me a comment out of curiosity as to what version of MS Access you guys are currently using. I'd just like to get a feel of how many people are up on the latest and greatest and how many are still sticking behind. Uh, personally, my primary system uses Access 2013. Um, so I'm just a curiosity of mine. Just leave a quick comment. Which version and also bitness have you switched to 64-bit or are you still running 32-bit? Be greatly appreciated and we'll see you in the next video. Take care.